guys, it's me with a, another vlog. Um, I wanted to get on here and vlog. Yesterday I did my normal weekly one and the whole reason that, or not the whole reason, but part of the reason I started this vlog was to try to help keep myself accountable for my weight loss goals and my diet and everything. And yesterday I got on and had given an update about the diet and was talking about um, I'm not going to cheat until uh, vacation time in July, you know, and I don't know what happened, but I have a confession to make. I cheated yesterday. It's like I filmed this vlog, I was so committed, and I'm still committed, but I don't know. I had a weak moment. Um, I started this diet on January 12th, and this is the first time I've slipped up, so I'm not going to beat myself up about it too bad. I am feeling really guilty about it, but yesterday, well, first off, my husband had um, these gift certificates to a Mexican restaurant called Habaneros that's out here, and he had planned on going with my son, and so uh, yesterday my husband had some work he had to do, and he was all excited about him and my son going to eat at this place, and so he called and said, you know, make sure that Adam's dressed and showered and ready to go out to eat and all that. So I went to tell Adam, you know, Dad's coming home so you guys can go out to eat, blah, blah, blah. And he didn't want to go. You know, he had changed his mind. So my husband comes home, is Adam ready to go? You know, all happy about going to this Mexican restaurant. And I was like, well, Adam doesn't, he changed his mind, he doesn't want to go. Of course, you know, then... I felt really bad for my husband, and I said, well, you know, I'll go, because I can, I'm sure they'll have something on their menu I can eat. I was thinking maybe I could have a taco salad, but not eat the shell. You know how they're just lettuce and beef and that kind of stuff, cheese, you know, things that are okay on the Atkins diet, but just not eat the shell. Do you think that's what I got? No. I get in there, that place smelled so good, and... Oh, man, it smelled good. I didn't do as bad of damage, I don't think, as I could have. I ended up getting tamales, and I didn't eat any of the chips and salsa. I, they didn't, you know, they didn't even appeal to me. I don't know if I, it's been because I've been on this diet so long that chips just aren't that big of a deal. I don't know. And I didn't eat the, I ate two bites of the rice and a little bit of the beans, and it came with two tamales, and I ate about one and a quarter of the tamales. So probably the main damage that I did in regards to carbs would be the masa on the um, tamale wrapper and those two bites of rice. So it's probably not as horrible as it could have been, you know, like if we'd gone to have Italian or something like that, which I wouldn't. That's not, that's probably, out of all the nationalities of different foods, that's probably one of my least favorites. So, but, you know, here I get on, the, on there yesterday morning, all high and mighty, I'm not going to cheat until vacation. And then what do I do that same damn day? I cheat. But, so, today I'm kind of just taking it easy. I think I'm just going to eat vegetables, like frozen vegetables, and just try to kind of, reverse a little bit of the damage I did yesterday. I don't know. So, now I'm going to try really hard to stay on track until vacation. Even on vacation, I can still do pretty good because we go to the Lake of the Ozarks. And we've done this for years. I mean, years and years since the kids were real little. And there's a place we stay um, that's got, you know, it's right on the lake, and it's got a pool, and, and it's just like a small little family-owned place, and we love it there, but, you know, most of the days we're grilling out, so, you know, I can have hamburgers and hot dogs and brats and all that stuff, I just won't put it on a bun, which isn't a big deal to me, and then where, where I probably will end up cheating on the diet is when we go out to eat. Because we'll do that some days. You know, you're on vacation. You don't want to cook every day. But I'm really looking forward to that vacation. And I really want to look okay in shorts. And 
I bought um, over the weekend. We went to the mall and I went to Old Navy and I bought just, it's kind of like one of those t-shirt dresses. It's just a cotton dress. It goes just like right above the knee. And I bought it in a medium because I'm determined to be able to fit into it and wear it and have it look good. So that's kind of like, I have that as a goal dress. And then I have a pair of shorts that I bought last year that I thought I could wear and I couldn't, I, I mean, I, can, I can't even pull them up over my butt. <laughs> so, or couldn't. Now I can pull them all the way up, I just can't get them buttoned. So those are like my goal, you know, to be able to get into those, not only be able to button them, but be able to button them and sit and have a little space and feel good in them. So I've got a couple of, you know, this, I think I'll get into the dress relatively easy. It's just a, you know, a cotton dress. And then those shorts, though, I, I try those on every week and each week it gets closer and closer. So, um, I'm just going to keep on going. I just, man, I, I'm sitting there in that Mexican restaurant and I'm thinking, I'm not going to beat myself up. I'm not going to beat myself up. And then, oh, and then last night I, I did not feel good. It's like, I don't know. I don't know if it, part of it was probably psychological because I was just feeling so guilty. And, I mean, even the book, the Atkins book, is basically like, if you... They don't say if you mess up, they have, you know, some other way to say it. Don't be discouraged, you know, just hop back on the wagon. And also don't mean just because you mess up part of the day, don't ruin the whole day, you know, get an ice cream and all this other stuff. And so I didn't do that. I just did the, the Mexican food. But my husband was happy, you know, that he got to go there. And so I think it'll be okay. It's just funny that... I get on there yesterday morning, I'm not going to cheat, and then that same day, I cheat. <sighs> so, I don't know. I'm trying not to feel guilty, but I am feeling guilty. I think probably by the end of the day I'll feel a lot better. I mean, I know one slip up isn't going to make me gain all the, you know, all that weight back. But, ugh. So, I guess it's not too bad if I started on January 12th and it took me all the way till March 30th to mess up. You know, that's actually better than I've ever done on any other diet before. And I really wanted to call this something besides a diet, but it's just easier to call it a diet. Although, I am going to turn it into a lifestyle. I'm not going to lose my goal that I want to lose and get to the size I want to get to and then turn around to old habits. That's one of the things I like about the Atkins. I feel like it's going to be sustainable. It's, I don't feel like there's a lot less things that you can't have on Atkins than there are on other diets, in my opinion. And I know other things work for other people, you know, and um, it's like whatever works for whoever to me is good. But in my instance, I also wanted to do something that would reduce blood sugar, and this was the one that that does it. And man, it is so windy outside today. There's like thunderstorms in the surrounding area. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's it's kind of scary windy. Um, man, things are just blowing all over the place. So let's see. I should hopefully get my new camera today and be able to um, film longer vlogs. I know sometimes they're a little bit short, but it's because this camera tries to overheat sometimes. And like I said before, it's a Nikon, Coolpix, it's a really good camera. Um, it's, you know, 16.1 megapixels. I mean, it's just, it's a good camera. It's just, it's made more, I think, towards taking pictures, and it takes beautiful pictures. So what I ordered was an actual camcorder, because we haven't had an actual camcorder. I mean, the one we have is, it's not the great big giant one that takes the full VHS tape, but it is the kind that takes the smaller VHS tapes, and then you have to put it in like an adapter. Other than that, we've just videoed with our iPhones or the camera, and um, I had like a little, I can't think of what it's called. It was just a little cheapy um, 
kind of video camera thing that even can go underwater. But, um, and it video, it, it does okay videos. But, so I'm kind of excited I actually will get an actual camcorder that we can take on vacation and I can film my vlogs. And it, you can actually pause on it too. I don't know, like the other thing we have is like every time you stop or pause, it creates a whole new file. So then you have all these different little snippets you have to try to put together in an editor. Or you just have all these separate things on your memory card. And this cam this new camcorder that's coming, pause just means pause. It'll stay on the same um, video file. So that's going to be neat. I mean, obviously when you turn it off it would and on, it would be a new video file. So I'm excited about that. Um, I also um, bought like a month ago, maybe longer, uh, an Addy. I don't know if you know what that is, but um, around Christmas, it was a little, a little after Christmas time, I bought, God, it was a long time ago. I think it was like the end of January or the beginning of February. But anyway, an Addy is a knitting machine where you, and I bought a big one, where you can make hats or scarves or whatever. I'm not going to stop looming. I love looming. And, but what I primarily wanted the Addy for is to, I want to make a whole bunch of hats. And when they come to time where they want you to donate the hats for the homeless, because we live in Missouri, it gets extremely cold in the winter, and they always end up asking for donations of, you know, hats and gloves and scarves for not only homeless, but also, you know, just needy families and everything. So, it, you know, it can take a while to loom a hat, and so I thought it would be pretty cool. I've watched a lot of videos of people making hats, and um, but what the Addy is, is you put the yarn, you, you still, you thread the yarn through all the needles, and then there's a crank you turn, so you're still doing some work, and then you, um, there's a, a lady that has videos, her name's Margaret Olander, I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but she's got some really good Addy videos, and um, there's a lot of really good ones out there, but she does like a reversible hat that's really cool where you use one you use two kinds of yarn, you do a certain amount of rows, and then after you take it off and sew it together or cinch it, it can reverse. And so I'm going to try that, but I need to get, I can't believe I've had that machine all this time and I still haven't gotten it out of the box. I hope it works. So I have a couple new things I'm excited about. My new camera, which should come today, and then the Addy. I need to really get that out of the box and try it out. I was kind of waiting because I had thought my husband was going to, I had asked, he's awesome with woodwork, he can build anything, and I wanted him to kind of build just a small table for me with a hole in it, because from watching videos, <clears throat> when you're knitting on the Addy, the things come out the bottom, and so it's easier if they can just hang free, and he still hasn't had the time to build me anything, but I think I'll just get it out and hook it. I mean, Pam has hers on, like, an end table, and it's working okay for her, so um, I shouldn't have to wait for him to build me something. Plus, I wanted it to be something that we could just fold up and store somewhere. But anyway, I'm starting to ramble now, but basically, I wanted to get on, and since part of the reason that I wanted to do this vlog was to keep me accountable, you know, I have to confess, and I confess. I cheated, damn it, but this, what is, what is the saying, this too shall pass, so anyway, there's my confession, I hope you all have a wonderful week, and I will talk to you next time, bye!